you know what? There's only two words to describe these coins, and that's absolutely What are we saying, guys? And welcome back to Clash of the Tungsten. I really appreciate you joining me, and today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different for you guys. On Twitter, I did promise that I wasn't gonna do any more videos about me talking about myself. So I've decided to do something a little bit different today and do a little how-to video. So this video is actually inspired by Simon the Wizard Whitlock and the points that he chooses to use in his darts. So I came across a couple of old Reddit posts that I think were circulating back in 2018. It was a couple of years ago now. And I saw a few photos on there and screenshots and it looked as if he was using hexagonal Allen keys as points. I think Simon Whitlock has a workshop or a garage or something at his house that he likes just messing around with his equipment in. That's not a euphemism, by the way. So anyway, I think the idea behind it was that the hexagonal edge actually stays in the board better for him. Sadly, Simon Whitlock is constantly at the forefront of controversy regarding his dark points. There are quite a few people that have quite strong opinions on his choice of points. In my opinion, ah, oh, shock, talking about myself again, I think whatever, let him be. I mean, I'm sure there's no rules that say anything about him not being able to use the points he does. In this video, I'm going to give it a go and walk you through how to make your own set of Simon Whitlock inspired Allen Key Dart points. I'm going to tell you what you need to make it, what tools and all the measurements and dimensions that are required to actually make the points. So let's go down to my outhouse and crack on. Right, so before we start, I apologise if the audio is not great. A disclaimer for everyone. So I'm in no way liable should you damage yourself all your darts, I'm doing this purely for entertainment and educational purposes. Right, so now that is out of the way, let's get cracking. First, what you're gonna need is three, well, I've got three here, 2.5 mil Allen keys. So I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can purchase these, because the place that I actually get these from sell these in packs of five, all the same size. So that's really helpful if you're trying to make these points. The next thing you're gonna need is a set of barrels, preferably old ones, just in case you, you damage these ones making them. But what I've gone for here is a set of old darts clearance ones that are actually, I believe, modelled on Simon Whitlock styles because they've got the scallop in the middle. So I wanted to keep it as authentic as possible, so this is why I've gone for these darts. Yeah, so there is a tiny little bit of a problem before we even start. So the holes that are actually in the end of a dart barrel and what regular points go into is around 2.2 to 2.3 millimetres. The size of Allen keys we've got here is 2.5, which poses a problem because the barrels are not going to fit into the Allen keys. So the first job that we've actually got to do is grind the end of these down slightly so that they fit in the barrel. So let me run through the tools that you're going to need to make these points. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of drill. A vice is quite handy as well. Ideally what you need to cut the Allen keys is an angle grinder because it's nice quick and you know you're going to get a straight cut. I haven't actually got one at the moment so I'm just going to use a hacksaw. A permanent marker, a tape measure, a pair of gloves, a pair of safety specs, and finally, a bench grinder. So the first thing that we've got to decide is the size of the point that we want to make. So for reference here, I've got a target five point. You're never going to believe this. I've only gone and dropped it. Snapped in half. Right, so the first thing that we've got to decide is what size we actually want to make the points. So I've got a Harrow's Lance point that I'm going to use as a reference. So by choosing the size of point that you want, this will determine how many Allen keys you're actually going to need to buy. So the first thing that I'm going to do is measure 50mm across every Allen key. So by using the Harrow's point as a reference, I'm going to give that a quick measure. And that looks as if it's around 38mm long. This is a nice size point, but I want them slightly longer, so I'm going to make my points around 50mm long. I'm going to grab my Allen key, my 2.5mm Allen key here, and I'm going to place it in the vise. Measure again on the end there, and then just make a mark with my permanent marker roughly where it's going to be. Right, so I'm going to make sure that this is clamped up nice and tight, ready to go. I'm going to make a little mark with my hacksaw just against the vice there and then I'm going to crack on with the cutting. So obviously you need to do this across all three points so yeah let's crack on. <laughs> 
because it'd be so much easier with an angle grinder. Right, so once you've finished cutting all three Allen keys, you should be left with something that resembles three bits of little metal like this that look nothing like dart points at the moment. Don't worry if you've cut them and they're not, you know, you've left a bit of a jagged edge on each one or whatever because what we can do is actually grind this off on the bench grinder and make sure that it's completely flat. We actually need to make it so that it fits in the barrel. So you can even try and mock it up now, but if you've got your Allen key and your barrel straight away, it's, it's not gonna fit. If we go and look at our reference point, which is a Harrow's Lance, not a target fire point, you can see there's a tiny little stalk here and then what looks like a collar. So what this collar here does, it actually stops on your barrel so that it doesn't go any further than it needs to once it's pushed into the dart, you see. I'm not gonna make that in this video because I can't be asked. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I can't be bothered. But what I am gonna do is show you how to grind it down so that it does fit in the barrel nicely. So the next thing we're gonna to have to do is actually measure this tiny little bit of metal from here to the collar and see what that is and replicate that on our Allen keys. So if I measure that little collar that I'm talking about, that looks as if it's around five mil. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go with about 0.75 mil so that we can punch it into the dart a little more. So once you've made your mark on all three of the Allen keys, what we need to do now is actually make the collar. Uh, we're gonna use the, the bench grinder for this part. You've got your mark at 0.75 mil, well that's what I've done. It's completely up to you guys what you wanna, how far you want it to go into your barrel. But the way I'm gonna do this is actually undo the chuck on the drill, like so. Place your Allen key inside, but what you need, you need the little mark that you've made for where it needs to go into the barrel. You need that on the outside because that's where we're actually going to grind down. Hold the trigger so it spins at a consistent rate clockwise and as the grinder spin against the Allen key, this is actually going to grind away where it will press into the barrel. Unfortunately, there's no way that we can actually check the correct size of this accurately, but I just keep it on the grinding wheel for a couple of seconds, to test it against the barrel and then just keep trying until it sort of goes into the barrel. So. Let's do that bit. Switch on the grinder. Sure. Match up that part. See it's just there. And spin. Take your barrel. Take that. Right, so once you've ground down the Allen keys, you should be left with something like this, which is more circular than the actual Allen key itself. What this will do, will pop straight into the barrel now. I'm pretty confident that that's gonna work pretty well. I'm quite happy with that so far. The next thing to do is to make the point. It's gonna take your drill, we're gonna put it in the other way so that the tapered side is actually inside the drill this time. I'm gonna crank that chuck up nice and tight, and we're gonna use the grinder again just to sharpen the point. We're gonna attack it at like a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna make probably a tiny little point on the end here. I'm gonna measure probably half a centimeter if that, so about five mil. And I'm gonna keep to that as the, the point, the edge, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna leave the rest of it so it still looks like an Allen key. That way, when I throw the dart, my finger's got a flat edge of the hexagon to like rest on, which will just be nicer I think in my opinion so yeah next part get on the grinder and sharpen it up so the finished product three Simon Whitlock style Allen key points I mean they don't look like your average dart point because like I said I wanted to keep the flat edge on the side so what that meant was not tapering too far up so I've only tapered about it's literally just a few mil so it looks like a real bulbous ended point but I'll tell you what 
I'm pretty happy with how they've turned out. I mean, I probably wouldn't buy them in the shop if I saw them. What I just need to do now is actually test to make sure they go in We set of dance that I want to put them in. So let's give that a go. The main thing that I'm worried about, it actually is straight when it's on the barrel because obviously we've sort of guessed at trying to grind it down, the, trying to grind down the bit that goes onto the collar. So I'm hoping that we've ground it down flat enough so that it sits straight within the barrel. And they are on. Look at them. They look fantastic. Look nice and sharp, you can see the Allen key point. Looks absolutely awesome. Really happy with how that's come out. Probably best going to the board now and having a throw it. Right, so I've set up my DAP. I've got the medium translucent stems and the Robson flights and the Allen key point. And first sort of impressions is I really like the grip. If I'm totally honest, I can feel it already like the fingers on the on the flat edge straight away just holding a dart feels really comfortable and because this dart's got the scallop at the well towards the middle of it it just feels really comfortable so i'll be interested to see what it's going to be like to throw the front end feels a tiny bit heavier than with a normal point which is sort of expected so i'll be interested to see what it weighs in comparison to a normal point so let's have a throw anyway definitely feel like there's a bit of a bit more weight on the front end and they're sticking the board really nicely I really like them to be fair I really think I could play and get used to these I mean for first well, probably only had about five throws so far. Obviously, what I will say is they're not as grippy as your grooved point. I mean, that's pretty obvious because all that you've got really is this sort of flat edge. I mean, I really like these, honestly. If you've got the tools in your shed, give them a go. Like, I'm sure that the Allen keys from a company near me, I think they're something like 15, 20 p each. So with a little bit of work, you could have a full set of points. So I'll use probably one and a half Allen keys to make three points, which, I mean, that's all right. You know, like, they're working out at 20p for one. That's like 30 pence for one one set of points, you know? So if you've got the, uh, if you've got the tools in the, the garage or your shed, just give it a go, honestly. I had quite a laugh making them as well. Didn't lose any fingers. Pretty happy with that. So yeah, that's how you make a set of Simon Whitlock dart points. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you appreciate that it's something a little different and I really hope that you've learned something. I know that I do keep saying and mentioning this, but I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that watches my videos. It means a hell of a lot to me and so long as you guys are watching, I will always create content for you. So I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.